We shouldn't be looking for heroes. We should be looking for good ideas. If we don't believe in freedom of expression for people we despise, we don't believe in it at all. The whole educational and professional training system is a very elaborate filter, which just weeds out people who are too independent and who think for themselves and who do not know how to be submissive and so on because they're dysfunctional to the institutions. The smart way to keep people passive and obedient is to strictly limit the spectrum of acceptable opinion, but allow very lively debate within that spectrum. Optimism is a strategy for making a better future, because unless you believe that future can be better, you are unlikely to step up and take responsibility for making it so. I was never aware of any other option but to question everything. All over the place, from the popular culture to the propaganda system, there's a constant pressure to make people feel they are helpless, that the only role they can have is to ratify decisions and to consume. Education is a system of imposed ignorance. For the powerful, crimes are those that others commit. The more you can increase fear of drugs, crime, welfare mothers, immigrants, and aliens, the more you control all of the people. That's the whole point of good propaganda. You want to create a slogan that nobody's going to be against and everybody's going to be for. Nobody knows what it means because it doesn't mean anything. How is it that we have so much information but know so little? It is quite possible, overwhelmingly probable, one might guess, that we will always learn more about human life and personality from novels than from scientific psychology. Do you train for passing tests or do you train for creative inquiry?